Hey, what's up, Internet? You want to change your laptop processor? Let's do this. I sure could use some help. Yeah, hey, man, I think this guy needs some help. Yeah, I'll give you a hand. Okay, uh, this is a compact CQ60. And you can see me starting to take it apart. Uh, most laptops will be similar to this. If you have a Mac, I don't, I don't know if this will even work. But uh, overall, you just want to start by taking out the battery, the RAM, the hard drive disk, and then every screw you can see. It's going to be a little bit of a learning curve if you have never done this with your laptop. Um, be careful. You should be able to take it apart uh, fairly simply and not break anything. So yeah. Uh, you'll see like plugs, just make sure you unplug them. If you see the screws, make sure you unscrew them. And eventually you'll get to the motherboard. You can see it here. Now some laptops just have a cover you can remove and, and see the CPU and that's awesome. But this one does not, most that I've ever worked on do not. Uh, you'll see here on the left and the right the difference uh, old to new. I'm getting pretty much just an extra core, which it in the end made a huge difference. But once you've got the motherboard out, you just remove the heatsink, as you saw me do right there. And then take a look, there's the processor. There's the old one. And uh, it's held in just by this little, uh, like, tension screw, I guess. Most most processors will be like that, and you just pull it out. Look at that. That was, that was pretty easy. And then I got a new one here that I bought from, uh, I think it was eBay, for like nine bucks. That's cheap. You just want to make sure that bottom right of that processor, you see the little marking, you just want to make sure it's the same place the other one was. After that, you want to put in some thermal compound. I put it put on yeah put it on and you'll notice the first time I do it here it's got like this clear goo around it that's actually not good you need to like squeeze the the compound packet before you actually put it on hmm, someone's messaging me so I did that and then I reapplied it in there see now it's more it's like mixed that's good uh, perhaps I'm putting a little more than what's necessary on but that's cool uh, the chip on the right there you can see I think it's the north bridge. Uh, you'll see there's a little pad. Uh, so I didn't put any thermal compound on there. But uh, once you're done with that, you put the heat sink on like this. And you're pretty much good to go. Don't forget to plug in the fan. Okay? I don't know if I forgot that on this one the first time. But uh, make sure you plug in the fan. That's a, that's a big thing. Anything you unplug, you want to make sure you, you plug back in. Yeah. And you'll notice here that it's... It's just the same reverse as it was f forward. Same forward and yes. I think you know what I'm trying to say. I, I can't really talk very well. Hmm. Oh, there you can see the Wi-Fi uh, antenna. That was actually kind of a little bit of a pain. But yeah, once you put it all back together, make sure you don't have any extra screws or anything like that, uh, you can fire it up and look at that. Boom! Intel Core Duo. Now I got a Core Duo instead of, a, I think it was a Celeron, right? So, awesome. Awesome. Now I can like watch videos online and send an instant message without having to make the computer freeze. This is great. This is great. I have a suggestion. If you're trying to speed up your laptop and you're, you're wondering like about the CPU thing, you don't know if it'll work or not, you might want to consider getting a solid state drive if you don't already have one. It's kind of a pain in the butt to uh, like clone the solid state drive to your current hard drive if you don't get one of the kits that comes with like the the software so make sure you do that if you choose to buy one but anyway yeah I, I strongly suggest upgrading to a solid state drive which I have actually done with this computer and it sped it up even more uh, here's another video if you want to see that you can click here you want to probably stop by the manufacturer's website and get some information on your laptop before you start this but I guess it won't really hurt too much because you're just gonna take it apart and you could always put it back together it's possible that the CPU is like hard soldered onto your motherboard in which case you will not be able to upgrade but once again if you go to the manufacturer's website you want to look for something like uh, the CPU like socket type or something like that and here's you can see an example of the socket type that I have for this laptop that I'll show you but yeah good luck with your laptop trying to upgrade it uh, if it's like nine bucks like it was for me that's just I mean it's pretty simple this is an old laptop and they're trying to refresh it and boom it worked out great Hey, if you like this video, there's a button for that. If you want to see more videos like it, there's a button for that. And if you're bored or you want to learn more stuff, just go ahead and cruise around my channel and look at the videos. They're pretty good. Anyway, see you later, Internet. I hope that helped.
I sure could use some help. Hey man, I think this guy needs some help. Yeah, I'll give you a hand. 